Hello? Hey, Charlie. It's Marnie. Turn on channel 13. With the arrival of autumn, Mother Nature has revealed the dark secrets hidden in the woods. At present, Isis Freud's body has not yet been found. However, we do know that she did drive up to Austin to Winter's Cottage on the day she went missing. We discovered a fair amount of blood inside her car and are now treating the case as a homicide. Is it Miss Freud's blood? We'll have to wait for the results from the lab. So the bloody car was definitely found on Austin DeWinter's property? Yes, it was. Earlier today, Austin DeWinter was brought in by police for questioning. He was later released. Mr. DeWinter has not been charged and is cooperating fully with the police investigation of his friend and colleague and hopes she is found safe and sound. Austin, how long have you been romantically involved with We him? have no comment at this time. Why didn't you come forward? No comment. Can you tell us anything? We'll keep you posted on any breaks in the story. For Channel 13 News, I'm Ella B. Jeffries, reporting from 66th Division. Can you believe it? Guess it goes to show you can work with someone for years and never know they're a murderer. Dices could still be alive. Oh, I'm sorry, Charlie. I didn't mean to... I know. I'm just a little unnerved. Did you know Dysis was seeing Austin? Yes. Why didn't you tell anyone? I didn't think it was important. I didn't know she went up there that weekend. I thought she told you everything. We had a fight. You and Dysis? That's hard to believe. It was just before I left for LA. It was really stupid and petty. And I told her I never wanted to see her again. Oh, Charlie. I'm so sorry. But it wasn't- I know. Do you mind if we talk about something else? Um, you wouldn't happen to have the file on the Sindelovsky ad campaign, would you? Yeah, I think I grabbed it with some other files. Uh, hold on. I have it here. What the hell? It's not there? No, it's here, but somebody stashed a gift in my attaché case. Is it your birthday? <laughs> Actually, it is. But I haven't told anyone. Well, why don't we go to the Octopus Lounge tonight, celebrate your birthday, and toast life? Maybe you're right. Maybe I should get out of the house. Okay. I'll meet you there at around 8. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.
Hello? Hey, Charlie. Mr. DeWinter. I guess you've seen the news. Did Dices come up to your cottage on the long weekend? Yes. But when she left, she was very much alive. Why didn't you tell the police? I just figured she'd turn up. But then after some time passed, it was harder to come forward without... Listen, you gotta believe I had nothing to do with her disappearance. You know how I felt about her. I do. Thanks. It's nice to know someone doesn't think I'm a psycho. Which is actually why I called. Can I stop by tonight around 8? Tonight? I hate to dump work on you on a Saturday, but I need you to take over that Hastings spec pitch for Monday. You're afraid we'll lose the account. Well, they don't want their family-friendly products represented by Jack the Ripper. What? It's nothing, just a paper cut. Can I stop by tonight around 8? Give you a quick rundown? You're the only one I can trust. Hold on, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Charlie. Don't forget to bring the Sindelovsky file tonight. Damn. I'm going to be late. Austin's on the other line. He wants me to take over the Hasting and Speck account. That's not fair. You're already overworked from taking over all the clients Dice has had. Wait. You're inviting a murderer into your house? Austin would never hurt Dices. Who else could it be? Who else knew she was going up there? Remember how Austin always brags there's no one else for miles around. Okay, if you're trying to scare me, it's working. I don't think it's safe. Why don't you get him to meet you at the pub, where it's public? Then he's gonna think I don't trust him. Better than being dead. I'll see if I can get him to join us. Sorry about that, Austin. I have to take another call. I'll be by at 8 sharp. Thanks, Charlie. But... Hello? Hello? Hello. I'm going to be late. Why? What happened? What did he say? He's coming here at 8. How did that happen? Charlie? Charlie? Charlie, are you still there? Can I call you back later? Okay. But if I don't hear from you by 9, I'm calling 911. Sounds great. Bye. Bye.
emergency. I need help right away. Someone is trying to break into my house. I live at 1760 Spillsbury Lane. Ma'am, is the intruder in the house? He will be. Any minute. Ma'am? Charlie? Holy crap. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> I was getting freaked out about this. I was worried about you. Where's Austin? How did you get in here? You gave me a key to check your mail, water your plants while you were in LA, remember? Don't take another step. What? What are you doing? Marnie, drop the knife. Knife? The knife you're carrying in your purse. Oh, this? It's just a letter opener. With all that's going on, when you didn't answer the door, I, I thought- Austin's letter opener. Oh my God. You killed Dysis? What? The puzzle. It's... You are the killer. Charlie, you sound crazy. Don't come any closer. Look. I'll put the knife down here on the bed. Very calmly. Very slowly. Liar. What did you say? Liar. What the hell is this? What are you trying to pull here? Is this something you cooked up to blame me? What? Or is this your sad little attempt to try to steal Austin away for yourself? What are you talking about? What did you think airbrushing this little puzzle would accomplish? I didn't do anything. Sure you didn't. You flutter in with Dysis, flaunt your looks, take my accounts. What? Don't play innocent with me. Look at what you're wearing. That's not the appropriate dress code to discuss business with the boss, is it? I just grabbed the first Shut one. up. I'm sick of your lies. I won't let you steal my man again. Your man? Austin was interested in me before you and Annabella appeared. Who's Annabella? I said Dysis. You're trying to confuse me. <clears throat> You're very pretty. But you know that, don't you? I hate your face. Bye. Annabella? Oh! In Marnie's office, examining her body. Doesn't want to be disturbed. Thank you.
She obviously discovered the relationship while stalking Mr. DeWinter. And then four months ago, while you were in L.A., Marnie found the perfect opportunity to repeat her M.O., even using a blade belonging to the person she was framing as the murder weapon. Forensics confirmed that she used a letter opener to puncture the tire in Mr. DeWinter's car and most likely came here with the intention of killing you. And I would have been blamed for that, too. Now, what happens to Charlie? Mm, nothing. The medical examiner confirmed that Marnie's death was accidental. Detective, you said on the phone that you found out how Marnie knew Dices was going to be at Austin's cottage. We, uh, we found this letter in Marnie's home office. We ID'd it as Miss Freud's handwriting. Marnie must have intercepted it while you were in L.A. Mr. DeWinter, I'd like to get a statement from you. Can we go into the next room while, uh... Yes, of course. Hey, Charlie. Just wanted to drop a line before I took off for the long weekend. I'm sorry I overreacted. You know I didn't mean to say those things about Marnie. I know she's your friend too, and I respect that. Anyhow, we've been friends for too long to let these petty arguments get in the way. Call my cell when you get this letter, because I'll be staying with Austin at his cottage this week. We can have one of our famous all-night chats. Or I can drive back early and we can finally finish that chess game. I just wanted you to know that no matter what happens, I will always be there for you. Your friend, forever, Dysus. <laughs>